Okay, so picture this. You walk into a random restaurant and you see someone who you've been watching online on YouTube for hours. Hours. And that for me was Elliot Choi. Let me back up for a second because I know it sounds like it's just an out in the wild, just perks of living in New York City encounter, but I promise you the entire moment was more than just random encounter. So, most of you probably know who Elliot Choi is, but for those of you who don't, I have been binge watching Elliot's videos for the entire week leading up to that moment. And I watch them because they're crafted so well that it's soothing soaking in every cool shot to analogize that I should take more risks and prioritize fun. Like that should be at the top of my list for life. But Elliot Choi is this incredible YouTuber in his 20s. Started living in New York after college and he started gaining traction for his videos in college. And honestly, his videography just hit different was what I liked watching. So I kept watching and his journey choosing an unconventional path, still finding success, felt like a reflection of what I wanted for my life and what I, what I wanted for myself. So I spent those days root to his content uh, prior to meeting him and thinking about my own path, questioning if I was making the right moves, and whether I should stick to the plans I had laid out. Fast forward to that random afternoon. Um, after one of my first classes as a first year student in law school, um, I walked into the salad bar casually just to grab a quick bite and minding my own business. And that's when I see And when I see Elliot, um, just standing there in line, I was like, am I in a video? <laughs> so what is happening? Am I in a video now? Now, to be fair, I was kind of nervous, but I went up to him and introduced myself and it turned out to be a very nice, um, very casual, pretty epic moment of my life. You know, it seems like a small thing, but for me at the time, um, and still, that moment was huge. It felt like confirmation that I was on the right path and that all the decisions I had been making up until that point uh, were in mistakes, but they're just, you know, part of my journey. I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on because it's getting sunnier. And at that time, I'd been going through like a lot of self-doubt. Um, I'm 24 now. I took a gap year after college and applied to law school to see if it was something I even wanted and I've recognized that it's my dream to make it on YouTube and it's been like a lot of trial and error just you know being in your early 20s so just questioning if I'm making the right moves or just you know wasting time with some things but talking to Elliot I think it solidified something for me here's a guy that who didn't follow the traditional route either. I watched him on YouTube. Um, he took chances, he's thriving now. And like that random meeting felt like the universe was giving me a nudge. Um, like, hey, you're doing okay, keep going. And now I'm not the kind of person to say I manifested this whole thing. Well, looking back, it felt like one of those moments who, like, it wasn't a coincidence. Um, and it's hard to explain, but you know when you've been thinking about something so much and then somehow the universe just lines up everything perfectly and it is manifestation, but I don't know if I literally manifested him on that street on that day per se, but what I do believe is that when you focus on something, you start to attract people and the right opportunities that help guide you toward it. So that's what this felt like, a sign that I was on the right track. So Elliot, if you're watching this, first off, 
thank you for being nice and so open in person. You've been more than just a YouTuber in my eyes, honestly. You've been like an unofficial mentor, no pressure, and showing me that it's okay to take the unconventional path, to prioritize fun and passion, you know, and to live life a little bit differently. But meeting you in person, I feel like it was the final push I needed um, to believe in myself a little bit more, to keep going with YouTube, and to stop second guessing my choices. So why did I wait until now to tell this story? Even though it's been over a year since I met you, Elliot, and met him, Elliot. <laughs> um, but honestly, I feel like now is the right time to share this, time to process, time to be open, and time to grow. And now I can say, without a doubt, it was very meaningful. Since that day, my passion for creating content reignited. Um, I've embraced uncertainty a little bit more and to trust my instincts even more. So if you're watching this and you've ever questioned if you're on the right track, which most people do at all stages of life, and you're trying to figure out what your next move should be, remember this, that sometimes the answers aren't clear right away. But if you trust your gut, take risks fast, Make decisions really fast. Stay open to what life throws your way. You'll get there. You'll get where you need to be. And it'll be better than what you thought. And hey, if you've ever had a serendipitous moment like this, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going. And if you're on your own journey, bring things out, be sure to hit the subscribe button so we can share with each other.